Let's talk about directional terms. These are all the directional terms you need to know for A and P class. Let's walk through a few. First, it's important to know this is our midline. Midline, think middle of the body. Let's walk through proximal and distal. Proximal is closer to the point of origin. In this case, closer to the shoulder. Where distal is further away from the point of origin, so towards the fingers. Just remember, distal, think a distance away. Another example example would be the hip is proximal to the knee. It's closer to the body's point of origin. What is the point of origin? This is the part of the body that's closest to where the limb attaches to the trunk or the core. So for the arms, the point of origin is the shoulder. And for the legs, the point of origin is the hips. Now let's talk about medial and lateral. Medial means closer to the midline. Remember we drew that earlier. Lateral means further from the midline. So let's draw our midline on me. My pinky is medial to my thumb. It's closer to my midline. And my thumb is lateral to my pinky, meaning it's further away from that midline. Now for superior and inferior. Superior means above and inferior means below. You can remember this by the memory trick, superior think up, and inferior think towards the floor. An example is the head is superior to the chest. That's all for some directional terms. If you're in anatomy class, you can practice your anatomical locations with the Anatomy Label Lab workbook. You can find it on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying.